Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this episode I'm going to show you how I made this really creepy looking jack-o'-lantern. So I drew up um, a basic little design, tried to make it look as scary as possible, kind of like a ghoul or a ghost. And I wanted to make this out of 100% uh, scrap materials, so I used some pallet wood, some old pallet wood and some old plywood scraps. The first thing to do was to cut them out on the um, table saw, just to get the width of the box. I then measured up. Um, and decided on a height that I wanted this box to be and I think I went for around 20 centimeters for the height so now I had two sides and a front and a back and the pallet wood would be good for the front because when I went in with the jigsaw to cut the face out it would be thinner and easier to cut that was the idea so now I'm just marking up the sides um, because these are the parts I can't draw into because the, uh, the pallet wood will be behind that. So I went ahead and uh, sketched out my design. First with a pencil and then I went in with a marker pen. And once that was done, it was time to cut it out on the jigsaw. So I started off by drilling some holes out so that I could get access with the jigsaw and I installed a smaller jigsaw bit which would make it easier to go around these tight corners So when that was done, it was time to start assembling the box. And for this, I used um, some rusty old nails removed from pallets. And I thought they'd make it look kind of older instead of screws to have like exposed nails. Um, I glued and piloted the holes. Because these were ring nails, they were really strong. So I now needed to work on um, a bottom and a top, and for that I used a piece of old plywood which was uh, originally um, some kind of shelf. So I marked up the bottom piece and cut that out on the mitre saw, along with the top piece. Now I just wanted to get it centralised before I attached it. So I just went round with the uh, tape measure and I marked up the area and the inside part where the thicker, pl uh, the thicker pallet wood was so that I could mark up for some pilot holes. Again I uh, glued and uh, screwed this together. I used a clamp to make it easier. And attached four quite thin but long screws. So once this was done, I needed to work on the top 
and I, I decided to use a hinge to access the inside of this jack-o'-lantern so that you could put the um, the light inside. So again I piloted the holes and I screwed this to the lid and the base. and that seemed to work quite well I now wanted to add a top um, so that I could screw a ring in so that the, uh, the jack-o'-lantern could be hung same procedure I drilled uh, four pilot holes marked up the center and then used some glue and screws to attach it and again I used some clamps just to keep it in place I now just needed to find the center of that top so that I could uh, mark up where I needed to put the ring. And I used a pencil just for some leverage to get it in. So now I needed a latch for the lid so that it didn't, if it was hung, so that it didn't sort of sway open. What I used for that was a piece, a little piece of scrap aluminium and I bent it to um, to match the lid, the angle of the lid and the base. So I then drilled two holes where I would attach it um, to the lid firstly. And then where it was going to latch on, which you'll see in a moment, I drilled out a hole here. I then used a hacksaw just to cut off that excess part. Now the only reason I made this is because I didn't have a latch line around. Um, I then just took a foil just to round off the edges. So I attached this latch to the, the lid firstly. I then drilled a hole ready for a bolt to go through. And I screwed the bolt through. And then I just used a wing nut to connect it all together and this worked really well. So now it was time to give it all a sanding down and I used an 80 grit for this. Didn't need to go too smooth because it is just a jack-o'-lantern. And I just went around the whole thing giving it a good sanding. So then I just gave it a nice dusting off to get rid of all the, uh, the sanded dusty bits. Now it was time for the finish and I used um, an interior wood stain 
which was um, teak. Quite a dark wood. Again, I wanted it to look sort of old and spooky, so I just went for a dark colour. If you'd like to see more content like this, please make sure to um, like and subscribe. And that was it all finished. So now it was just time to add um, a tea light and for that I used um, a battery operated one just for safety. So if you like this video, please remember to like and give me a comment and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and happy Halloween.